Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Insights from the journey of Al Isra. Relief after hardships. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book to his Prophet, Glory to him who made his servant travel by night from the sacred place of worship to Al Aqsa Mosque, whose surroundings we have blessed to show him some of our signs. He alone is the all hearing, the all seeing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow the path to the Day of Judgment. It goes without saying that Al-Isra wal miraj holds a distinctive place in the history of humanity. This remarkable journey remains etched in the collective consciousness of the Muslim Ummah, for it served as a momentous occasion that bestowed honor upon the seal of all prophets and messengers, and provided relief for him, peace be upon him, after the harms inflicted upon him by his people. Following the immense suffering endured by the Prophet, peace be upon him, at the hands of the polytheists of Mecca, due to his divine message and the subsequent persecution he faced. He, peace be upon him, went out to a Taif area, hoping to find support amongst its inhabitants. Regrettably, the people of a Taif proved even crueler, instigating their slaves and children to pelt him with stones until his noble feet bled. In this dire moment, the Prophet, peace be upon him, beseeched the Almighty Allah with a well-known supplication, saying, O oh Allah, I appeal to you for the weakness in my strength, on my limited power, and the treatment of the contempt and humiliation from people. To you, the most merciful of all the merciful ones, you are the Lord of the oppressed, and you are my Lord. Under whose care are you leaving me to? to an enemy oppressing me, or to a friend who had given control of my affair. If there is no anger from you on me, I will forever be content. However, your blessing is vastly important for me. I seek refuge with the glory of your light, which the heavens and earth are lit from. Your anger will not befall on me nor your displeasure descends on me. To you is the supplication until you are pleased, and there is no control or power except by you. At this difficult time, our Prophet, peace be upon him, lost those who used to console him and alleviate his pains. When his wife, the mother of the believers, Khadija bin Tukhwailid, may Allah be pleased with her, died, and she was his supporter. Also our Prophet, peace be upon him, lost his uncle Abu Talib, who used to defend him due to his high status among the tribes. All these events occurred at one year, which therefore came to be known as the year of, year of grief. These events impart upon us a profound lesson derived from the journey of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj. This lesson elucidates the fact that hardship is often followed by ease, and distress is succeeded by relief. Throughout one's life, trials are accompanied by blessings, and victory is attained through patience. The miracle of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj came in the midst of these difficult circumstances and harsh troubles that the Prophet, peace be upon him, faced to manifest the mercy of, of the Almighty Allah to his Prophet, peace be upon him. Thus that journey was telling the Prophet, peace be upon him, that if some of the people of the earth have failed him and turned their backs to him, he was shown love by the Lord of the earth and heaven. Thus the miracle of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj came to relieve his pains, console him, peace be upon him, and honor him to his nation. Therefore the poet said, O Prophet, you traveled overnight from one sacred place to another. As the full moon travels at night through intense darkness, 
and you continued ascending overnight until you reached your destination, which is so close to Allah, which has never been attained nor sought by any other prophet, and you were preferred to lead other prophets in prayer by all prophets and messengers, just as a preference given to a servant by his master. During the journey of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj, our Prophet, peace be upon him, had the noble chance to ascend to the Lord of the worlds, who chose him from among all creators to honor him for his patience, struggle, and endurance of adversities, and to let him know some things from the world of the unseen. This is a great blessing and a great bounty. It is also a great lesson for everyone who suffers adversities and tribulations, that, it, that if he continues to be patient, the Almighty Allah will honor him with divine grants and divine giving. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The glorious Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are full of hope and optimism. With hardship comes ease, and with difficulty comes relief. Therefore, hence, no matter how difficult the challenges may appear, one must never succumb to despair. When plagued by illness, one should reflect upon the divine grace bestowed upon the Prophet Job. Peace be upon him by the Almighty Allah who alleviated his suffering, cured him of his disease, and answered his supplications. The Almighty Allah says, Remember Job, when he cried to his Lord, Suffering has truly afflicted me, but you are the most merciful of the merciful. We answered him, removed his suffering, and restored his family to him, along with more like them as an act of grace from us and a reminder for all who serve us. Similarly, in the times of distress, one should recall the instance when the Almighty Allah relieved the tribulations of his prophet Jonah, peace be upon him, and rescued him from the depths of the sea and the belly of the whale. Thus hardship turned into ease and the distress turned into relief. The Almighty Allah says, And remember the man with the whale when he went off angrily, thinking we could not restrict him, but he cried out in the deep darkness, There is no God but you. Glory be to you. I was wrong. We answered him and saved him from distress. This is how we save the faithful. And if you are poor or needy, know that no soul will die until it has fulfilled its lifespan and sustenance, and have trust in the grace and generosity of Allah. As the Almighty Allah says, there is not a creature that moves on the earth whose provision is not his concern. He knows where it lives, and final resting place. It is all there in a clear record. O oh Allah, fill our hearts with tranquility and contentment. We ask Allah to protect homeland and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.